New business, 1626. Clerk, read by title, please. An ordinance of the Township of Edison, County of Middlesex, New Jersey, establishing the Township of Edison Redevelopment Agency, tabled at the meeting of May 14, 2008. Okay, I will need a motion to remove from the table. Motion to remove from table. Do we have a second? Second. This is a roll call on the removal of, from the table. Roll call, please. Council Member Griffin Usack? Yes, to remove. Council Member Mascola? Yes. Council Member Massaro? No. Council Member Perlstein? Yes. Council Member Dr. Prasad? Yes. Council Member Sigliano? No, to remove. Council President Deal? No, to remove. Do we have a motion to introduce? Motion to introduce. Do we I have a second? I'm sorry. You, yeah, you need to read that. I'm sorry. Okay. I move this ordinance be passed on first reading, published according to the law for further consideration and public hearing set down for June 11, 2008. Do we have a second? Second. Any council comments? Roll call, please. Council member. Council President. Yes, sir. Again, if I might. Uh, before we vote on this, uh, I owe myself and I think I owe anybody who um, voted for me needs to know the reasons why I would cast a vote on, on, on something this significant. And even if it's only for, uh, for introduction, and why I voted not to remove it from the table. I spoke extensively about this ordinance at a public work session, and it was subsequently tabled. I spoke extensively about the authorities of the redevelopment agency. I spoke extensively about the need for progress in Edison. And there is no one in their right mind who would not want to see a better Edison and see progress made in Edison. But some of the authorities that this agency would have, bonding, eminent domain, the ability to make loans to developers, award contracts to redevelopers, and, and things like that, um, I thought, and I still believe, should be either A, spoken of very specifically in this ordinance, so that anyone who reads it knows what this agency can do, or B, my preference, listed specifically and specifically curtailed in the ordinance so that there's no mistaking what the intent of the uh, voters, uh, of, the, of the people who voted for the ordinance are, so that there would be no bonding without specific approval of the council. There would be no, no any of those things without specific approval of the council. I had hoped at the time it was tabled that those items would work their way into the ordinance. The ordinance that's in front of me now is word for word the same ordinance that was in front of me then. So uh, I, it, it's just, I want progress in Edison, but not at any price. That's all, sir. Thank you, sir. Any other council comments? Council President? Yes, ma'am. Um, I just am, I did the introduction on this, and I stand by my statement at the work session. The powers of the agency and the control rests with this council in terms of the development plan that is, that is brought towards this council that we need to approve. Those powers will rest in the plan. It will not be something that can run amok and, and ha give an agency unlimited powers. The, anything that is done regarding eminent domain, bonding, et cetera, would need to be put into the plan. And that's not my interpretation of the law. That is from um, an expert in the field. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. May, else? I, may I use the name of God and from this dais, from your lips to God's ears, because I can assure you that is not going to happen. If this redevelopment agency becomes a reality, we are in for a rude awakening in this township, and I just hope that you will remember these words and that you will remember who, maybe you'll realize then who you really should have believed. You, you've, there's nothing else I can say. I've spoken about it extensively also. Anyone else? Thank you, Council President. Sir? Uh, a lot has been said for and against this, this um, ordinance, some of it, it's passing the buck. I don't see it as that way. I see it as a, a way of getting more bang for our buck for our township. It's a way of getting 
more qualified people than who sit here on this dais to do what's right for Edison. And again, as Council uh, Woman Perlstein said, it is the powers will still reside on the dais. And each case, it can be taken case by case. So at that point, I, will ha I think it's the right move for Edison. It will move Edison forward, and I will support this. Thank you, sir. And anyone else? Well, I, I've stated several times that I will not support this. I've, I've tried to look at it as open-mindedly as I can, because when you talk about moving forward and a new direction and keeping up with the times and doing the right things in a changing community with changing demographics and on and on and on, and I've tried to look at it, and no matter how I look at it, I cannot be convinced, I am not convinced, that it's necessary. I just, I'm, tr I'm trying to look at it like it might be necessary. I don't see where it is. On the other hand, every time I examine it, it seems to me as cumbersome. It seems to me as another level of government that will be confusing, that will have to deal with more people that won't agree on anything, and nothing will get done, or what will get done will be just messed up. I just don't see why if the buck stops here, if we have the final say, then why don't we just deal with it the way we have it? We have a planning board, we have a zoning board, we have a council. These are good people, their hearts are in the right place, they're trying to do the right thing. Most of them, I think, are, are pretty qualified for their positions. We just had the 102 acre site, which has a beautiful plan, although I am, and I said it Monday night, I'm disappointed that we're not further along. But these, these, these parcels that are left, or coming up, are not nearly the size. No matter how I look at this, no matter what angle I look at it from, I'm not convinced that it's necessary. That's, that's how I feel. I'm also looking at the fact that politics plays too big a part in Edison. It just does. <laughs> and, and it makes it difficult for us to move forward. I th think this, creating this, um, becomes very, very political. These are mayoral appointments. Um, they would have a lot of powers. And I, I just think, again, I don't think it's necessary. And I won't be voting for it. That's as simple as I can say. Council President. I just want to make one clarification. Yes, the agency is dependent upon mayoral appointments, but it's with the consent of this council. Council President. Excuse me, le, 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 ladies and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, please. Okay. Excuse me, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, you, you know that, that we don't agree. I mean, you've heard people here tonight state their position, whether you agree with them or not, but please, please be polite. I, I, I would appreciate that. Any other council comments? Council comments. Roll call, please. Council Member Griffin Usak? Yes. Council Member Mascola? Yes. Council Member Massaro? No. Council Member Perlstein? Yes. Council Member Dr. Prasad? Yes. Council Member Rusigliano? No. Council President Deal? No.